Rise Up America and Beyond. It's that time again. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recovery from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it's a renewing system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew and regenerate itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, prescription drugs, the longevity products, if you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have a success story to share, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. We've got a guest coming on in the bottom of the hour. Dr. Holly Wyatt is going to talk to us about her new book, State of Slim. Fix your metabolism and drop 20 pounds in eight weeks. She calls it the Colorado diet. We'll be talking to Dr. Wyatt in the bottom of the hour. So if you've got questions, please give us a call in the first segment or second segment so we can get to as many folks as possible. 855-660-4261 is our number. And if you want to learn more about the Longevity products or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. They can give you the full scoop. You can also click on the Join the Team link on the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. And you can also check out our shopping cart at brightsideben.com. Make sure you take a specially long look at the Beyond Tangy Tangerine multivitamin mineral complex powder that so many folks are finding out about helps lower blood pressure, helps you get off your drugs. It'll help reduce your appetite. You can lose weight with this stuff. It's a wonderful source of the B-complex and vitamin C and amino acids and zinc and selenium and copper. Just 50 bucks a canister, and you can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. And you can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. As well, we update it regularly, and we also have a newsletter we're going to be sign up, setting up in hopefully the next four to eight weeks. So sign up for that at pharmacistben.com. Okay, let's see. We're talking protein. We're talking peptides. We're talking just important stuff. Protein is the vast majority of our bodies. The solid part, the non-water part of our body, is protein. Probably in the order of eighty percent of our dry weight is made up of protein. That's pretty important, folks. And that protein eventually is coming from the diet. That's where it comes from. The body can't make protein from scratch. This makes uh, dietary protein super important stuff. But the body can't actually use dietary protein, as it turns out. You can search all over your body. You're not going to find any bacon or hamburger or sausage or shrimp or fish or steak or any kind of protein in the body, even though the body is composed of the same components that make up fish and shrimp and steak, those components in the body are rearranged. This rearrangement of food protein, really of all foods, is called assimilation and digestion. When we eat protein, that protein is broken up into its constituent parts. First, it gets broken down into smaller chunks. We call those smaller chunks peptides. And peptides are really, really active, very active stuff. There's peptides in foods that can lower your blood pressure. There's peptides in foods that can act as antioxidants, rust protectors. There's peptides in in foods that can thin the blood and stabilize cholesterol production and turn on the immune system. There's peptides that can reduce your appetite. And every protein source is going to have a specific peptide blend. The specific mixture, the specific combination of peptides is going to give a food its identifying features. 
This is what makes a, char- a food characteristic. It's peptide blend. One of the reasons that whey protein and egg protein are such wonderful sources of protein is because of their particular blend of peptides. Whey and egg are loaded with peptides that are specific for growing things, for repair, for building, for anti-aging, for the digestive tract, for the skin, for the immune system. Whey and egg are the king foods. They're the royal foods of the, of the realm of anabolic building peptides. And to deprive yourself of these foods is to deprive yourself of some pretty powerful anti-aging and healing peptides. But the activity of peptides, the fact that these things are so active, is also what makes them problematic. Activity could be a dual-edged sword. It could be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. When you're allergic to a food, you are allergic to its peptides. Allergies don't occur in response to vitamins. Allergies don't occur in response to minerals. Allergies don't occur in response to fats or sugars, for that matter. They only occur in response to peptides. So if you think you're allergic to iodine, think again. Nobody's allergic to iodine. You may be allergic to the peptides that are associated with iodine, but iodine is a mineral, and nobody's allergic to minerals. You're not allergic to vitamin C either. My dad swears he's allergic to vitamin C. You can't be allergic to a vitamin. You can only be allergic to a peptide, perhaps a vitamin associated with a peptide, but it's the peptide feature that results in the immune activation that we call allergies. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. So peptides are active. Peptides do things. They're the most active molecules in the body, and they're the most active molecules in food. And all foods are going to have peptides, especially high-protein foods, and this makes protein foods very active. And this makes protein foods and peptides, as important as they are, potential problems. Because they are so active, food peptides are only supposed to get into the blood under tightly regulated conditions. They're never supposed to get into the blood without the permission of the cells that line the digestive tract. So as you're eating a food and that food goes through your esophagus and down your, down your gullet and into your stomach and into your small intestine, from the small intestine into the body, it's got to pass through with permission of the cells that line the intestine. The cells that line the intestine are like bouncers that stand at the door of the, of the circulatory system, of the bloodstream, the holy of holies, the sacred places in the body is the bloodstream. And we have bouncers that will permit only specific types of foods to get into the blood through the digestive tract, to get into the general circulation through the small intestine. If holes develop in the digestive tract, stuff can sneak in past the bouncers and get right into the blood. This is called leaky gut syndrome, and it is behind almost every health challenge you can think of. This is why we're hitting the digestive system so hard. Whenever we get phone calls on the bright side, whenever anybody talks to me on the telephone or writes to me on Facebook or or, or through uh, uh, email, the first thing I'm going to tell you is focus on digestive health. Focus on patching up that leaky gut. If there's any kind of of degenerative condition in the body, i.e. a health condition that does not improve or resolve on its own. That's what a degenerative condition is. If you have any kind of degenerative condition, you are probably dealing with intestinal permeability or leaky gut syndrome. And anything that sneaks into the blood through through a, a leaky gut is a problem. But peptides that sneak through because of their activity, they're an especially significant problem. We've talked in the past about a specific kind of peptide called lectins, L-E-C-T-I-N-S. Lectins are peptides. They're actually sugar peptides. They're a little piece of sugar attached to a little piece of protein, and are produced by plants. And they have some tremendously horrible effects on the body. All kinds of immune problems can be associated from plant lectins, which are a type of peptide. Gluten is the most famous of these kinds of peptides. Gluten is a peptide. If you want a classic example of a, of a peptide that can wreak havoc on our biology, you've got to look no further than gluten intolerance, which is a peptide intolerance. Peptides are identifying markers. They're what make a man a man, and a mouse a mouse, and a monkey a monkey, and a cockroach a cockroach, and a broccoli a broccoli. A man, a a cockroach, a rabbit, whatever, we all make peptides, and the peptides that we make are what give us our identifying characteristics, and this is going to have a huge role to play when it comes to autoimmune disease. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're coming back at you right after this. Don't go away. Hi, everyone. I'm Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist and host of The Bright Side. The good news about nutrition and health. The good news that if you or someone you care about is on a prescription drug or has some kind of health challenge, there's a gentle, natural, healthy way to address most health issues without drugs and without doctors. And it's as simple as understanding how the parts of the body work and how they interact with the foods we eat and the nutrients we take in. If you've heard me on the Bright Side or at one of my presentations, you know I'm a man on a mission. A mission to help you understand health and wellness and the remarkable healing powers of the biological system called the human body. And if you like the Bright Side, you're going to love my new website website, brightsideben.com. You'll find articles and links. You'll be able to access archives, and we'll even have exclusive information that you won't hear on the radio show. And of course, you can purchase the Longevity Nutritional Supplements and even sign up to join my Longevity team and make an impact, make a difference, and maybe make some money too. Check out brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com or call 866-735-2470 for more information. Jim Newcomer from Midas Resources, October 8, 2013. Gold open this morning at 1319.50. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1367.33, 683.66 for a half ounce, or 341.83 for a quarter ounce. That's 1367.33, 683.66, and 341.83. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Hello, I'm Steve Shank. Everybody's heard the statement that what you don't know can't hurt you. But truth is, what you don't know is the only thing that can hurt you. For example, you might not know how our country's wars can hurt you. Japanese radiation and the Gulf oil spill are destroying your seafood. People don't understand how America's 50-year worst drought is hurting them. Our natural disaster experience has proven relief organizations can't take care of the victims. And there's the huge question of how the government will feed all the people that it's promised to feed with no food. What if we made the whole country into one big neighborhood where we take care of each other by taking care of ourselves? Here's the plan. For every new e-patch 60-day food supply that you order, eFoods Direct will send a 7-day food supply to each of two families in your name, free of charge. Go to eFoodsDirect.com or call 800-876-0871. 800-876-0871. eFoodsDirect.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. We are back on the bright side. Thank you for being here. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com if you miss a program or you want to review a program or you want to uh, have a friend, friend or family member, loved one, workmate, listen to a program. 
You can get them all up at brightsideben.com. We've got hundreds of hours of archives up. You can also check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, and check out uh, or sign up for our newsletter, which we hopefully will have out here in the next four to eight weeks. And for you guys who want to purchase any longevity products, you can do it right off of my website, brightsideben.com, or you can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay, bottom of the hour, we're going to be talking to Dr. Holly Wyatt about her book, State of Slim, which is kind of a neat uh, neat diet book. I guess she doesn't call it a diet book, a diet book, but it's a weight loss book. And it's got some interesting points on it. We'll be talking about that and why Colorado is actually the slimmest state in the union. Now, at the bottom of the hour, we'll take your phone calls here. And we'll take your phone calls here now. I think I'll, we'll leave this uh, discussion about autoimmunity for tomorrow. But rest assured, if you are dealing with any kind of autoimmune disease, you are dealing with a immune system disorder that is secondary to something that you're eating or some kind of digestive problem, which is such good news because it means for you guys out there who've got lupus or Sjogren's or multiple sclerosis or muscular dystrophy or type 1 diabetes, whatever your autoimmune disease flavor is, fix your digestion, focus on food allergies, focus on immune triggers, and you can immediately begin to resolve your your symptomology and access the body's built-in healing nature. We will talk about that tomorrow as we continue talking about protein and peptides and amino acids. There's so much to talk about here. By the way, peptides are the latest and greatest ingredients in skin care for you guys who are out there buying high-end skincare products. We're going to be talking about how peptides can be used topically right on top of your skin to help improve the, some of the signs of the aging process. We'll do that over the next couple of days as we continue talking about anabolic building nutrition and protein. Okay, 855-660-4261. Welcome to the Bright Side. Tom from California. What's going on, bro? Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Hey, doing good. What's up? Uh, not too much. Um, hey, I just have two really quick questions for you. Mm-hmm. Um, the first one, uh, is it safe to take 5-HTP with uh, Zoloft or any other antidepressant for that matter? Uh, yeah. Your body kind of regulates 5-HTP. 5-HTP is, a com- is converted into serotonin and and Zoloft and Prozac, these are serotonin dr- uh, drugs that help to keep serotonin levels high in the body. So theoretically, if you took 5-HTP, you could make too much serotonin, but that doesn't happen because the body will regulate how much serotonin it converts from 5-HTP. So you shouldn't have a problem there. You may actually be able to lower your dose, though, uh, by using 5-HTP. You may even be able to eliminate your dose of the Prozac or Zoloft or Effexor or whatever SSRI you're on. I wouldn't worry about that, no. And In fact, I would take 5-HTP with Prozac or Zoloft. Oh, okay, because, yeah, I was, I was thinking to try just a really low dose of 5 HTP Go for it. and just kind of amp- raise it up here and there and then try to lower my dose. Absolutely, so, absolutely, absolutely okay. I would do that. Yeah. Great. And then my second question, real quick, is that um, you recommend a lot of taking uh, le- lecithin, and I yeah. really wanted to try some. And um, I see that the soy lecithin is quite a bit cheaper than all the other ones out there. Well, now, with all the problems with soy, is it okay to take soy lecithin? Uh, I wouldn't. Not, I mean, non-GMO or yeah, I wouldn't mess around. I'd use the non-GMO. I buy a non-GMO soy from now. Uh, you can buy non-GMO soy lecithin. You can also get sunflower lecithin, rice lecithin. Plants in general will make lecithin, and these days you can get sunflower. You can get organic lecithin, organic sunflower lecithin. You can get rice, rice lecithin or uh, non-GMO organic soy lecithin. I personally use the soy lecithin uh, granules, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would stick with the non-GMO organic kind. It's, it's only a little bit more expensive. Uh, and you don't have to worry about the GMO or the or the pesticides or anything else, which probably isn't going to be a problem, but you never know. Go non-GMO, oh, okay. go organic wherever possible. Okay, thanks, Tim. I appreciate it. Sure. Thanks, buddy. Have a good day, Tom. All right, uh, Doug in Missouri, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? How are you doing today? I'm doing awesome. How about you? Doing good, doing good. Just wanted to see if you could give us some guidance. Um, my wife is struggling with, <clears throat> excuse me, endometriosis. And okay. Like mid-May, uh, over a period of three days, she became bloated, put on a few pounds, about 10 pounds. She eats very clean, very healthy, et cetera, mm. et cetera. Went to the doctor several times. They ran numerous tests, and, you know, they diagnosed her with endometriosis. You know, come on. This is so stupid, Doug. They ran tests to tell her that she has endometriosis, right? Like she didn't yeah. know. 
the genetic endometriosis. So they spend, how long they spend a, a day testing or only God knows how much they bill your insurance company and bill you, and then they tell you you have endometriosis. Please, this is the craziness with medicine. All right, so endometriosis is basically a condition where cells that line the uterus start to grow out of control. Sometimes they can grow in other parts of the body as well. Basically, you have out-of-control growing cells, cells that are going nuts. That's really what a lot of diseases are, cells going crazy. There's only one reason why cells go crazy. Well, there's three reasons why cells go crazy. They're starved, they're suffocated, or they're toxic. It's the same thing that goes wrong in the body no matter what your health issue is. Starved cells, toxic cells, suffocated cells. Now, once this condition happens, then you start to go into uh, stress hormone production. Estrogen is a stress hormone. Uh, Elevated estrogen levels are associated with endometriosis. It's basically a stressed-out, toxic condition of the body. Nothing more, nothing less. So here's a couple of things that you're going to want to do. First, for emergency just to, to take care of the problem right away. This isn't going to solve the problem, but to take care of the symptoms is an emergency measure. Have your wife get on some progesterone cream and get a pharmacist, get a pharmacist to compound it for you. Don't buy the stuff that you get on the Internet or over the counter. Have a pharmacist compound 10% progesterone cream for you, uh, for your wife. I'm sorry. And for you, too. It's good for men also. Uh, secondly, uh, you may, she may want to try some pregnenolone, okay? 100 milligrams of pregnenolone, you can buy that at the health food store. Third, for endometriosis, focus on malabsorption of fats. This is especially important for all female hormone, female reproductive issues. And that means do all the things that we do to help, you, help the, uh, improve the absorption of fats. That means lecithin, apple cider vinegar, digestive enzymes, especially something called lipase bile salts, and have her take her fatty vitamins, especially E and A, which can counteract some of the effects of estrogen. Uh, have her taken 400 IU of vitamin E and 20,000 IU of vitamin A uh, with her fatty meals and with all of those fat absorption aids that we just talked about. Uh, thirdly, you want to start to work with deep breathing and relaxation techniques. Elevations in stress hormones are associated with endometriosis, uh, so deep breathing techniques can work, and also anything she could do for her adrenal glands will be helpful as well. That means vitamin C in high doses, that means about 5 to 10 grams a day, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, magnesium, which is important for all female health issues, but it's also important for the adrenal glands. I'd be using the Osteomag around 1,000 milligrams a day. Make sure she's on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well. Um, and have her using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Just get her on the Healthy Star Pack because you're also going to need essential fatty acids, which can be very helpful for endometriosis. Uh, the Ultimate EFAs, I'd be taking a 9 to 12 of them a day and use those as well with uh, the vitamin A and the vitamin E with the fat, uh, with all of her fatty, uh, fat metabolism, uh, fatty food metabolizing supplements like the bile salts and the enzymes, all the things we just talked about. And please uh, don't be under the illusion that she has a good diet because if she has a good diet, quote, I'm doing little air quotes here, or she doesn't have any digestive problems, chances are she wouldn't have any endometriosis. So I don't mean to say that in a bad way, but I'm just telling you, if you think that, you're not going to be able to correct the problem. Got to move on, Doug. I appreciate your call. If you uh, have any more questions, feel free to shoot me an email uh, at uh, brightsideben at gmail.com. All right, we're coming back with Dr. Holly Hyatt. She's going to talk about her book, State of Slim. Right after this, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Enrich and enlighten your life with the Awake and Empowered Expo, October 11th through 13th at the Cobo Center in Detroit. Experts from around the world present the latest advancements in holistic health, wellness science, and free energy technology. It's a weekend of insightful lectures, workshops, and discussions, all designed to help you reach your highest potential self. Find the path that will cleanse your body and mind and open doors to a new level of consciousness. Discover the benefits of raw food and juicing for Participate in the meditative practice of Tai Chi. Strengthen the body through yoga and view life-changing documentaries. An amazing array of exhibitors will offer the newest products and services that support a healthy and holistic lifestyle. Visit AwakenEmpoweredExpo.com for tickets. The Awake and Empowered Expo, October 11th through 13th at the Kobo Center in Detroit. Raising global consciousness as we come together to empower ourselves and each other to live to our fullest potential. 
great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy byproducts from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. The fall season is here. Falling downstairs, bad. Fallback pricing, good. Don't fall down the stairs. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote for special fallback pricing on delicious freeze-dried foods and dehydrated foods. Vote early. Vote often through October 10th. Tell us which product to put on sale. Then, beginning October 11th, Fallback Friday, the price of the product with the most votes will be on sale with special fallback pricing. Missing out on a sale on emergency preparedness food, camping food, or backpacking food? Bad. Storing delicious freeze-dried entrees, fruits, vegetables, and desserts? Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote now through October 10th for fallback pricing. Voting for politicians who expose themselves? Bad. Voting for fallback pricing at freezedryguy.com. Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. Don't answer it. How can I stop these annoying collection calls? Imagine being free from your debt without settling and with no payment plan, no negotiating or filing bankruptcy, and no attorney. What if you could eliminate the risk from all your unsecured debt in about 90 days and keep all your money? You can. It's called Zero Debt Guarantee, and it works. There's no other program of its kind on the planet, and we guarantee the results in writing. Call now, 800-477-9256. Let our team of experts provide you with the resources to fight back. Stop collection calls. And prevent and stop wage garnishments and bank levies. If you're facing foreclosure, we can help. Don't go it alone. Get free information now by calling 800-477-9256. Talk to an expert who has also completed our program. Call 800-477-9256 for free info. Or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. That's 800-477-9256. Or go to ZeroDebtGuarantee.com. So, you've decided to get prepared. You're not sure that a case of ramen and a couple of granola bars under your bed will cut it as long-term food storage anymore. You're in luck. At Emergency Essentials, we have all the resources to get you started. From three-day emergency bug-out bags to year supplies of food and everything in between. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Are you someone who forges your own trail? Are you a pioneer with the need to homestead your self-reliant entrepreneur spirit? If so, RF Bunker has a franchise opportunity for you. RF Bunker is the fastest growing emergency and survival retail store in the United States. RF Bunker franchise opportunities are leading the way for business-minded heroes seeking adventure in owning and operating their own emergency supply and survival store. Visit rfbunker.com or call 866-623-2932. This offer is not being directed to any resident of the register-required states. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. G-C-N. Great talk radio starts here. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We have been talking about protein, as you guys know, for the last couple of weeks or so. We'll probably be talking about protein for the next couple of weeks or so. It's such, a, It's that important. One of the most important reasons that protein and protein foods especially have such a significant uh, have, have such significant health effects is because their ability to control our appetite, this whole issue of appetite suppression or satiety uh, that's associated with protein is described in, in a book, new book by Dr. Doctors, I should say, James Hill and doctors, Dr. Holly Wyatt, a book called State of Slim. Now, State of Slim is not a diet book, as uh, the doctors are clear to point out. Still, there's a lot of good diet strategies in the book, as well as some interesting science, and we're going to be talking 
today to Dr. Wyatt about some of her and her co-author's ideas. So without further ado, please welcome to the Bright Side, Dr. Holly Wyatt. Good morning, Dr. Wyatt. How are you doing? Great. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well. Good to talk to you. you I was telling you off the air, you must have a great PR agent because I see your book everywhere. And you were telling me it's on the bestseller list, too, as well, right? Well, right now, just in the, the Denver the Denver area. Oh, the Denver area. Spreads, but definitely in Denver, it's been, I think it was number six or something. So that's that's a good place to start. Well, we're proud of you as a fellow Coloradan. What is it, why is Colorado consistently considered the, the skinniest, the thinnest, the healthiest state in the country, in your opinion? Yeah, well, that that was really the question we set out to answer a couple years ago. And what we found is there's some characteristics that the people that live in Denver tend to do or are more likely to do. It doesn't mean everybody in Colorado is doing them, um, but there's more people doing them. And we think that those um, characteristics or these behaviors are the ones that are keeping the state lean and, and really make us the leanest state. Give us a couple for our non-Colorado listeners. Okay. One of them is we are active every single day. Uh, uh-huh. We make activity just part of our daily life. And we've learned through uh, the people in Colorado, but also through people all over the country that have been successful at losing weight and keeping it off, uh, people in the National Weight Control Registry, that being active every day not just only is good for you from a cardiovascular standpoint, but really helps keep your metabolism at a, at a, at a place where you can be more successful at maintaining your weight or after you lose weight, maintaining a reduced weight. And it's, it's more than calories. It actually helps with appetite. It helps with adjusting to the fuels you're eating and so you can burn carbs and burn fat. It helps with fat burning. So it does a lot to really optimize your metabolism. So being active every single day is really essential to being lean. Well, as a chemist, I always had a problem with this calorie in, calorie out kind of idea that dietitians have been so, so, so glibly repeated for decades, really. And I guess you're saying the same thing, that it's not, losing weight is much more than just calories in, calories out, correct? Correct. I mean, on one level, it does follow that rule of calories in, calories out, but there's so many things that affect that. And you may do something that, for instance, increases your energy expenditure through exercise. You may burn some calories through exercise, and that's not not all it does. It may then affect how many calories you eat or affect what type of calories you eat or affect how long you sleep. And all of that ultimately will feed back into that energy balance equation. So in a sense, you can always say, yes, the energy balance equation is true, but it's way more complicated than just how much you eat and how much you move. Everything affects each other, and there's so many ways that the body actually um, kind of uses that to adjust. Talk, talk a little bit about the biochemistry of weight gain and weight loss, ghrelin, leptin, insulin, things like that, appetite suppressant hormones, things like that. Yeah. Well, what we know is that the regulation of body weight is extremely complex. There's peripheral signals from the fat cells and probably from the liver and probably from muscle and probably from the gut. And all these have signals that actually end up probably in your hypothalamus. And and then there's all kinds of neurotransmitters that tell you when you're hungry, tell you when you're full, tell you when you, you know, you need to eat a certain type of food like a carbohydrate. And they're all interact and it's a very redundant system. So a lot of times when we tweak the system in one place, the system's been designed to be redundant so it just adjusts in another. So really it's a very complex system and we've seen this time and time again and it also when you lose weight it probably changes so that it tries to push you back to regain the weight. So you have to really understand that and work with the things we know are helpful to prevent that from happening. So if you go into the biochemistry of, of satiety and, uh, and biochem- uh, satiety-inducing hormones and then the thyroid and then the liver, it seems like it's almost impossible to try to hack into the body to try to, to regulate our biochemistry, yet we know people lose weight. They lose 20 pounds, 30 pounds. I've talked to people on the air and, and in my practice who lose 100 pounds, uh, 120 pounds even. So weight loss is possible, but the way it sounds, it, it, there's so much complexity and so much, as you say, redundancy in the body, it should be an impossible task. How can weight loss be accomplished given all of this complexity that you just that you just went through well, well really the key is you can lose weight and you can kind of override the system short term and that's what we do with diets typically we kind of use our brain or i say kind of our cognition to kind of override the system when we force ourselves to eat less for some period of time and to move more and we kind of override the system we get in a negative energy balance and we and we lose weight successfully and most people just like you said are very successful at losing weight 
When it becomes hard is longer term, and it's really fighting back against that system um, for a long period of time because you're right, the system is wired to kind of push back. And so the key is there's a lot of ways to lose weight, but when we study people who are successful and they're, you know, they're less less number than the people who initially lose it, when we study people who do keep it off for at least a year, if not longer, they are doing some things that we think helps their whole system, their whole metabolism. Um, and exercise is one of them. We think that exercise goes in and makes that whole system work better. It, it helps your body match. I mean, if you think about it, there are people out here who, who stay the same weight for years and years and years and years. And if you think about that, how amazing is that? They know, do they know exactly how much to eat and whether they should go for a, you know, a 10 minute more walk or should they, you know, um, do three more minutes on the, the stair stepper? I mean, how do they know to get in that exact energy balance? Because we know that even small changes in energy balance um, can lead to weight gain. They don't know what they're doing. They may be doing some things to help their body, but their body's doing it. The body is also designed to match intake to expenditure. And we think that happens, however, at a high level of energy uh, throughput or a high level of activity is required. And we've become so sedentary that most of our bodies can't do it anymore. So you're saying you're really big on this exercise component, but you're saying it's not exercise. You don't lose weight from exercise. No. The exercise changes your chemistry. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And when you look at the number one predictor of people that are successful, not like I said, not at losing it initially. You do not have to do exercise to lose it initially. But to keep it off one year, two year, three year, they almost all, I would say 90%, you know, it's never 100%, but 90% of them are doing a fair amount, a large amount really, of physical activity. And like I said, it's more than just burning calories. We know that. It's something about optimizing that metabolism so that you can then not necessarily lose more weight, but stay at that reduced body weight where your body can take however much you're eating and match it with how much you're burning and not cause your weight to, to fluctuate. Now, how much of this, you, you use a word in your book that I that makes me cringe when I hear this word. Uh, it's, it's willpower. Oh, yeah. I hate that word. I love that word. <laughs> you like it? Like it always sounds like a battle going on in your body, oh. like you're fighting something. <laughs> but you, you feel like it's really important. Talk about the, the importance of willpower as opposed to hacking into the body and allowing the body's chemistry to do things naturally. And you see the distinction I'm making? Like overriding yeah. the, the chemistry of the body through, through uh, uh, your, your executive center in your brain, which is what willpower is, versus hacking hacking into the body and allowing yep. the chemistry to do the work. Yeah. I think you've got to do both. The key is you have to do both. And so you want a plan where you actually can maximize that chemistry. You can make it the best it is for you, and that's really what State of Slim is about. But also, there's still going to be probably some pushback, and that's where I think the willpower that's comes the willpower. in. And I like to think Doc, Doc we've got to take a break. Can you hang on to that thought? Because I do want to address that when we come back, and then I want to talk about some, some practical steps people can take. So hang tight, Dr. Dr. Wyatt. We're talking to Dr. Holly Wyatt about her book, State of Slim. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Howdy, folks. Pharmacist Ben here, nutritional pharmacist and skincare chemist. If you've heard me on my daily health and wellness program, The Bright Side, you know I'm on a mission to spread the good news about the power of nutritional supplementation to correct your health care challenges and get you feeling vital and healthy once again. I want you to call 877-279-9422 and check out the powerful, affordable line of nutritional products from Longevity, the ones I take and the ones I recommend. That's 877-279-9422 or go to www.gcnminerals.com. Why simply mask your symptoms with toxic pharmaceutical drugs when you can address causes with vitamins and minerals? I suggest the Healthy Start Pack. It gives your body the essential 90 nutrients it needs. Most people notice a difference right away. You can sign up to help me spread the good news of health and wellness without drugs and maybe make a little money too. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my important video message. That's GCNminerals.com or call 877-279-9422. And remember, friends, good nutrition is good medicine. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. 
First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. If you owe the IRS back taxes, listen carefully. Sweeping changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever eliminate their tax debts once and for all. And now, thanks to Dan Pillow, you can get the tax help you need to end your tax nightmare. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla. I've helped thousands of people reduce or eliminate tax debts they couldn't pay. And after more than 30 years of experience dealing with the IRS, I can tell you there's no such thing as a hopeless tax case. With the IRS's new policies, it's easier than ever to put your tax debt behind you once and for all. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. Call 800-346-6829. Learn how I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking to Dr. Holly Wyatt about her new book, State of Slim. Fix your metabolism and drop 20 pounds in eight weeks on the Colorado diet. Dr. Wyatt, you were uh, talking about, uh, we were talking about willpower versus hacking into the body before we went to break and, and I cut you off. So if you just want to finish that up and then we'll get to some practical steps here. Sure. I think I was just saying that willpower is, I think you need some willpower too, but the key things when it comes to willpower is I think you want to increase it if you can, but more importantly is um, use it effectively. So take some situations out of your day where you so that you don't have to use it as much because it's kind of a finite amount. And so we believe in the book, we talk a lot about routines and rituals that help make uh, you not have to use as much willpower uh-huh. so you can be successful long term. What do you mean by reinforce metabolism, and then what do you mean by reinforce carbohydrates? Um, well, I, I think uh, you mean is it reignite or reinforce? No, you said reinforce, and I didn't quite okay. understand that. Okay. Well, um, I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. I have to listen to exactly what you're talking about. But in general, we're trying to. I think another way to think about it is optimize your metabolism, make it work the best it can for you, uh-huh. especially once you've lost weight. And we know it tends to have that tendency to push back. Um, and then it. it it, when you do that, one of the things that it allows you to do is um, be flexible and adjust to the carbohydrates you're eating. If you're eating carbohydrates, it adjusts and it burns carbohydrates. If you're eating fats, it adjusts and burns fats. So we call that flexibility. Um, we really want you to have a flexible metabolism. What do, you, do you make a distinction between types of carbohydrates? Between what? Types? Types. Uh, sure. types of Types of carbs. Sure, yeah. In, in phase one of the Colorado diet, really, we take out all sugar. We uh, keep in some some complex carbs, and then we continue adding in complex carbs. But we, I definitely think about sugar. Sugar tends to turn off fat burning, um, especially if you're not doing activity yet. The more activity you do, the more you can have some sugar, and you're going to burn it, and you're not going to have that kind of fat. Um, it's not going to douse or turn off fat burning as much. If you're sedentary, for sure, sugar tends to cause you to store fat. It tends to turn off fat burning within your body. And what's your take on the different kinds of fats? 
Well, in, in terms of weight loss, right. uh, fat's a fat. I mean, it, it has the nine grams, uh, I'm sorry, nine calories per gram. Um, it doesn't really make a difference. You, if you overeat good fats, um, you will gain weight. However, um, once you're saying, okay, I'm going to limit my fats to a reasonable amount, but I'm going to have fats, then you definitely want to have good fats because they're the ones that are associated with heart health. There's a lot of other benefits to them. Um, so you want to stay away from the saturated. And, and some of the other types of fats, and you want to go for more of the, the good fats. But when it comes to weight loss, you still don't want to eat too much fat in general because you will gain weight or you won't be able to lose weight. Now, I'm looking at your picture here, Dr. Wyatt, and you okay. sure don't look like you need to lose a lot of weight, girl. I'm telling you, you look pretty good in this picture. Have you lost weight with this with this uh, program? Or? Oh, yeah. So if you, if you read the book, the reason I'm – you know, really study this. The reason I think I have so much passion about it is I've had, I've struggled with my weight all my life since I was in high school and, um, you know, medical school and I was constantly dying, dieting. I was constantly yo-yoing my weight going up and down and up and down and, um, was kind of lucky, put on the right path and was able to find out in my residency that I could actually study this as a career. I could actually do research on it and of course, you know, I had a passion about it because it is so close to me. So yes, I've weighed a lot more than what I probably look like I weigh in, in the picture I think you're, you're probably looking at. It's a pretty nice picture. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> on whatever you're doing, you're doing right. Well, now, what kind of doc are you? You do research or you see patients? Mm -hmm. I, I do both. I'm an endocrinologist um, at the University of Colorado um, Health Science Center. Um, so I see patients actually in clinic, and I do pretty much all weight loss and weight in weight management. That's what my whole practice is. Nice. But I also do research. So I have NIH-funded grants looking at how to help people not lose weight but keep it off. So really my expertise is in weight loss maintenance. So you're actually working, you actually work with, with patients, and you also work in, in terms of clients and research as well? I do both. So you're not doing bio, like molecular research. You're doing no. uh, epidemiological clinical. research or working with patients. Yeah, I do clinical research. So I do what I call in-stage kind of translational. So it's really taking what we think works and putting it in clinical trials and nice. putting it out there in the community with, with people. Very nice. Okay, practical steps. What is your favorite weight loss breakfast, Dr. Wyatt? Favorite weight loss breakfast. Okay, for me, it's absolutely got to start with protein. That's the key for me. If I don't start with a, a nice amount of protein, I, I usually struggle for the rest of the day. So I actually prefer a egg white omelet with veggies um, and sometimes maybe also a piece of Ezekiel bread or kind of a high fiber um, English muffin. That's usually my favorite kind of get started breakfast. Maybe like a couple hundred calories kind of thing? Probably around 300 calories. Okay, good. And then do you eat lunch? Um, yeah. Oh, I eat, I eat probably about five times a day. Okay. Okay, so what, how about a lunch? So for lunch, it will depend. I'm, I'm very lucky here at the Anschutz Health and Wellness Center. We have a bistro that actually serves state of slim meals. So I can go down. You're kidding. You got them to no. do your bookstore meals? Yes. The recipes? That is yes. awesome, Doc. That's so awesome. I can go down. I, I have that. But even before that, I used to bring, I would actually bring all my meals with me in a cooler, which is sometimes what you got to do if you don't have access to to healthy healthy meals. So um, it it will probably be some kind of protein. So it will be chicken or fish or um, something something around there, and um, a vegetable or a salad, most likely. Um, also, I may have some almonds with that, depending on kind of what my, my fat content is for the day. Now, people are always asking me about vacations or when they're traveling or they're going, they don't have access to foods and they've got to stop at fast food joints or stop at restaurants, that kind of thing. What's some good weight loss tips for people who are traveling? Well, I think if you if you can plan ahead, you should plan ahead and bring some things with you. Um, I think that can make it easier. But if you don't, if you absolutely have to stop um, and you don't have anything, you know, anything else that you can bring with you or add with, you know, add to maybe something you'll get from a fast food restaurant, then I think you have to look for the, a lean source of protein. A lot of places will have that. Sometimes you can even ask for it kind of a la carte if there doesn't seem to be something, you know, you know, exactly on the menu. And then uh, look for, obviously, a vegetable, um, hopefully not cooked in oil. Um, but I actually find things, for instance, even Subway, I like their double 
chopped chicken um, salad. I think that that's something that I, I get quite very often when I'm out and I, you know, I have to, I want to grab something. Um, I don't put the croutons on, I don't put the cheese on, um, and I actually don't use use dressing. But um, you know, I think you can find things that that are healthy if you're willing to take a little, a little bit of effort to look around. How about a couple snacks, snack type of foods? Well, my favorite snack right now is actually I take a plain, non-fat Greek yogurt, which most people then make a little face and say that, that that's yucky, that's sour, Holly, and I agree. But then I actually sweeten it with some type of of um, water sweetening drop, so like a, a crystal light drop or a, a Mio drop or something. Like I take the black cherry Mio drops is my favorite right now. I take what is the, the sweetener in Mio? Do you know? Um, let me see which specifically in Mio what they have. There's Stevia, but I'm not sure if Mio. I'd have to look on the back. Okay, I'll, I'll look that up. Which so you just one? put a couple of drops of yogurt. That's a good snack for you in the middle of the day. Yeah, and I stir it up, and I think it tastes. Uh, I think it, Mio is sucralose, but um, it, and then yeah, stir it up, and so I can flavor it a whole bunch of different ways, and that's something that also has some protein in it, but kind of is a little bit of sweet. It's a great snack. All right, we got about a minute, Doctor. We're talking to Dr. Holly White about her book, State of Slim. One takeaway, Dr. Uh, White, that you want people to go home with, uh, want our listeners to know about weight loss in the State of Slim. One takeaway. Well, that, I think that you absolutely can be successful if you have the right plan. You need a plan that's going to help you lose the weight, but more importantly, you've got to get, be getting ready and get your metabolism ready to keep it off once you lose it. And that's really what State of Slim is all about. It gives you the diet to lose, but more importantly, it gives you the plan to be successful at keeping it off. That's awesome, Dr. White. And your website? Yeah, we have a website at uh, stateofslim.com. And the book's available on the website, I take it. It, yeah, it'll tell you where to go, but we're av- our book's available at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, pretty much everywhere. Good deal. Um, and we also like us on Facebook. We have a lot of people doing the diet on Facebook, lots of good recipes, lots of good tips. So uh, Facebook is a, a great resource, too. State of, State of Slim on Facebook? Yes. yes. All right, good deal. Thank you so much, Dr. White. Best of luck to you. Best wishes for the success of uh, your book, State of Slim. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care, ma'am. All right, that was Colorado MD, Dr. Holly Wyatt, kind of giving us some uh, some medical medical speak. I'm not sure I agree with everything she said, but her book is State of Slim. It's an interesting book. You can get it off her website, stateofslim.com. You can get it off Amazon.com, bookstores everywhere. And that is our program today, for today. Uh, tomorrow we'll continue talking about protein. We'll continue talking about enzymes. We'll continue talking about how the immune system is involved in enzymes and how autoimmunity is really an enzyme and peptide and digestive health condition, but that should come as no surprise to you guys who have been listening to The Bright Side, because we talk about that almost every day, the uh, link between digestive health and digestive wellness and overall health and wellness. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and check out our shopping cart. Make sure you take a look at the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Please check out my blog as well, pharmacistben.com. That's all the time we have for today. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now. The National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, presented by Triton Shelter Technologies, is the only national event designated for the prepper community. October 19th and 20th at the North Atlanta Trade Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Admission is free, and the doors open at 9 a.m. Join us and learn life-saving tips that can help you and your family handle crisis situations. Special guests include Kevin O'Brien from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers, David Crawford, author of Lights Out, the director and cast members from the movie Lights Out Saga, and more. Special guest speakers include GCN's own Dr. Joel Wallet, along with Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and Tom Martin, the director of the American Preppers Network, two-time field and screen champion Chad Weatherford, along with many other leading experts from around the country. Join us for the country's largest emergency preparedness event, absolutely free, October 19th and 20th at the North Atlanta Trade Center in Atlanta, Georgia. For more information, visit NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us.
us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. 